Hello, my name is Nicholas Lair and I am an LC product specialist at Shimazu Scientific Instruments. In this video, I will show how to perform the deuterium and tungsten lamp replacements as part of the preventative maintenance routine for the SPD40 or SPD40V UV Viz detector. For this procedure, you will need a Phillips screwdriver and the replacement deuterium lamp. If you have an SPD40V, you will also need a replacement tungsten lamp. Turn the instrument off from lab solutions. Once the instrument is shut down, turn the main power switch, located by the power cable at the back of the detector, off. Allow the lamp to have adequate time to cool off before replacement to prevent injuries. Remove any reservoir trays or modules that sit on top of the UV Vis detector so that you can access the top cover. Loosen the two screws and remove the top cover. Make sure you have allowed the detector adequate time to cool down after powering off to prevent heat-related injuries. Remove the radiating fin assembly by unscrewing the four screws, securing it to the optical chamber to access the lamp. If you have an STD-40V UV Viz detector, there is a tungsten lamp in addition to the deuterium lamp. Press down on the fastening while pulling the tungsten connector out of the plug. Loosen the three tungsten lamp mounting screws with the Phillips head screwdriver so the tungsten lamp can be removed. Align the notch of the tungsten lamp flange with the protrusion on the lamp socket. Tighten the lamp mounting screw to secure the new tungsten lamp to the housing alternately. Lead the cable through the notch in the optical chamber housing to prevent damage when reattaching the radiating fin assembly. Insert the cable into the plug outside of the optical chamber. Press down on the fastening while pulling the deuterium connector out of the plug. Loosen the two deuterium lamp mounting screws with the Phillips head screwdriver until the deuterium lamp can be removed. Make note of the placement of these two screws on the lamp housing. Remove the two screws and set aside for the new lamp. The long screw has a set of nuts that are in a particular position. Do not loosen or remove them. Unpackage the new deuterium lamp. Do not touch the glass portion of the lamp directly with your fingers. If the glass is touched, wipe clean with ethanol moistened lens cleaner. Insert the lamp in the same orientation as the old lamp. Using the two screws that were set aside in the previous step, secure the lamp in the same positions as the original one. When positioning the lamp, you may hold the glass portion with the lamp with gauze to keep its surface clean. Do not touch it directly. Tighten the lamp mounting screw with the Phillips head screwdriver alternately. Securely connect the deuterium lamp cable to the plug. Lead the cable through the notch in the optical chamber housing to prevent damage when reattaching the radiating fin assembly. Secure the cable outside the optical chamber with the clamp before reinserting it into the plug. Securely tighten the radiating fin assembly over the optical chamber. Securely attach the top cover in the correct orientation by aligning it with the hollow of the instrument to prevent UV light from escaping. Replace any reservoir trays or modules that were removed to access the top cover of the UV bits detector. Turn the main power switch located at the back of the detector on. Reset the lamp operating hours for the replaced lamp. On the detector front panel, press the right arrow where you will see function and VP. Press the down arrow to highlight VP before pressing the right arrow to open the VP menu. Press the down arrow until you see maintenance. Press the right arrow to open maintenance menu when it is highlighted. Press the down arrow until you see W lamp use time. Press enter, then zero, then enter again to reset the time. Note that the deuterium lamp hours will reset themselves. Open lab solutions and initialize your system. Run your startup method to condition your system for your analysis conditions. Thank you for watching this video on replacing the deuterium and tungsten lamps on your SPD40 slash SPD40V UV Viz detector. 
For more information on Shimadzu LC instruments, please visit www.ssi.shimadzu.com or scan the QR code on the screen.